Throughout the course of human history, every culture has dedicated significant contemplation to the concept of death. Despite our advancements, death remains an enigmatic force, with no fixed rules, patterns, or reasons for claiming our loved ones at particular moments in life. As humans, we acknowledge the unknowable nature of death and often attribute this mysterious process to supernatural influences. In Western culture, we are familiar with the angels of death and the grim reaper, otherworldly beings tasked with guiding souls from the mortal realm to the afterlife. However, in Japan, they have their own unique interpretation of these supernatural beings known as the Shinigami. As is common in Japanese tales, the Shinigami come with many distinct twists. Japanese mythology is replete with various kami, spirits that govern everything in the world. Among these spirits are the Shinigami, known as the gods of death. Unlike the tall, skeletal figure often associated with the Western Grim Reaper, the Shinigami are gods or supernatural spirits whose role is more aligned with guiding mortals towards their death based on certain aspects of Japanese culture. Determining the true identity of the kami embodying the Shinigami role is not always clear. Izanami, for instance, is sometimes regarded as the first Shinigami as she is believed to have introduced death to the world. Similarly, Yama, the god of the underworld, is also associated with the Shinigami, but their status as entities personifying death is not entirely certain, as they differ from the death gods in Western concepts. Certain forms of Buddhism do not involve belief in deities, leading to the notion that the concept of a death god might not even exist in Eastern thought. Some argue that there is no specific god of death guiding people to the world of the dead. However, over time, the Western idea of an entity ruling over death made its way to Japan, and the Shinigami began to be seen as an existence with human-like characteristics. Shinigami, being spirits of death, are invisible to most except for those with a connection to death or those approaching their own demise. Describing a Shinigami is challenging, as they appear in different guises and shapes, making them unrecognizable to the casual observer. The concept of Shinigami became integrated into Japanese lore only in the 18th or 19th century. Interestingly, the term Shinigami does not seem to have appeared in classical Japanese literature, and there are limited writings about them. The first known instances of the term appeared in the Edo period when it was used in a type of Japanese puppet theater called the Ninjio Jururi, which had themes involving evil spirits and double suicides. While Shinigami are considered kami like any other in Shinto religious beliefs, they are a relatively modern invention, and their presence in collective imagination arose when traditional Shinto beliefs met Western culture's notion of the Grim Reaper. Although the Shinigami may seem similar to the Grim Reaper, they differ in fundamental ways. In Western beliefs, the Grim Reaper is perceived as a terrifying being, embodying death itself. On the contrary, in Japanese folklore, prior to the idea of a death personification, death was often viewed as a natural part of life cycle, not inherently negative. The Shinigami are considered facilitators of the natural cycle of life and death. Unlike the Grim Reaper, who is often depicted as a harvester of souls, the Shinigami simply ensure that individuals pass away at their appointed time and then guide their souls into the afterlife. They are perceived as less frightening because they politely invite people towards their death rather than employing aggressive means to claim their souls. In contrast to the singular representation of the Grim Reaper, the Shinigami are believed to exist in multiple forms, usually working in pairs. They appear when it is a person's predetermined time to die and gently lead them across the threshold between life and death. Though few stories about the Shinigami exist, an old traditional tale tells of a man contemplating suicide. A Shinigami visits him and reveals that the length of life is measured by candles, which burn until the flame vanishes, signifying death. The Shinigami has no control over who lives or dies, they simply guide individuals according to their allotted time. The tale further recounts how the Shinigami teaches the man a secret to extend someone's life temporarily by banishing the death spirit with specific magical words. 
The man exploits this knowledge to become wealthy, posing as a fake doctor. However, his greed eventually leads to his downfall when he tries to outsmart the Shinigami and loses his own life. Although many Japanese who practice Shinto still believe in the Shinigami and other kami, modern Japan is predominantly secular, leading to a less literal belief in the god of death. Nevertheless, the Shinigami continue to be a significant part of Japanese culture, akin to the Grim Reaper's role in the Western world. These entities have evolved and now feature in popular Japanese television series, such as anime and manga like Death Note, Soul Eater, and Bleach. However, their roles in these modern interpretations often differ from the traditional ones. Stories involving the Shinigami have been popular throughout history, and given the recurring themes of death and the afterlife in popular beliefs, it is likely that tales about death-like entities will endure for much longer than anticipated.